Hello YouTube, we have a motherboard processor problem here with a Gigabyte 78LMT-S2P motherboard. We're combining that with an AMD FX4130 4-core processor rated at 3.8 gigahertz. That's 8 megabyte total cache. This is the black edition of the processor. And there's a problem with this. In booting up, it comes in a lot less than the 3.8 gigahertz rated uh, frequency of the processor. So we click Start, right-click over Computer, and select Properties. This is a fresh install of Windows 7. You can see it's 4 gigabytes RAM, 32-bit, but it's coming in at 2.81 gigahertz out of the box. This is not good. It's rated at 3.8, so we have to fix this. We don't know why this happens, but we can go into the BIOS, tweak the BIOS, and see if we can get it closer to the rated 3.8 gigahertz on the the clock speed for the processor. So pressing delete when we see the splash screen of the Gigabyte motherboard we will get into the BIOS setup. So hitting delete we get into the BIOS. Here it is MB Intelligent Tweaker. There are four things we need to change in here. The first will be the CPU clock ratio. Currently it's set at auto at 2.8 megahertz, I'm sorry, 2.8 gigahertz, 2800 megahertz. We're going to change that to a factor of 17.5. You can see that that changed to 3500 megahertz. The second is going to be the CPU Northbridge frequency. We're going to change that from auto to 11, factor of 11, changing it to 2200 megahertz. The third is the CPB ratio. We're going to change that to a factor of 17.5, making it the same as the CPU clock ratio changing it to 3500 megahertz and the fourth is the HT link frequency we're going to make that a factor of 11 the same as the CPU Northbridge frequency that's the four things we need to change we're going to hit escape and move to the advanced BIOS features there's one thing we need to change here and that is the AMD C6 support it's currently enabled we're going to change that to disabled then we're going to press escape one time and we're going to move over to the save and exit setup. We're going to press enter and enter again to select the default yes to save the changes that we just made. I'm going to skip by the startup, the boot up and click start and right click over computer and click properties and we can see here that the frequency did change to 3.52 gigahertz here on the right hand side. Um, and our tweaks did work. You can play around with that if you'd like to get it closer to 3.8. I found it did get a little flaky over the 3.5. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thank you for watching.